Hi, welcome back to Travel Rocks Our World. And another episode of Blame It on the Alcohol. And I've been waiting for this one. I've seen uh, plenty of reviews about this beautiful uh, bourbon. Well, it's, we're going to get into it and have a taste. Uh, before we get into the intro, you might hear a little bit of noise in the background, and it's because. I'll introduce you to. Who's been in videos before here. Go doggy. This he'll, is Dodge. He'll be sleeping down there because if any pug owners know, <laughs> he can't, he needs to be around people. So he's down in the background. If you're hearing snoring, that's him. So we'll see you after the intro. Welcome to the bar. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> blame it on the Henny, blame it on the goose. Got you feeling dizzy. Blame it on the a -a 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 alcohol. Blame it on the a -a -a yeah. Cause I got it like that. Flow so smooth like I got it on tap. Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night while I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light. Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam. Yeah, baby, do you do it, do it? We're back, and we're with Wellers uh, Bourbon, and it is uh, what percentage is it or proof? It's ninety proof. It's forty-five percent. Forty-five. Yeah. yeah, I look forward to tasting this. Some good stuff. Yep, it's going to be tasting uh, pretty good. We're going to have a bit of a, a straight straight taste. And then we're going to, be able to add a bit of ice. Yeah. Like a lot of people probably won't like that much, but I um, always like adding a bit of ice to on bourbon. On the rocks. Yeah, on the rocks. I always like a bit of ice on the bourbon because it uh, smooths it out. Um, and then we probably might have a, a little mixer with it. We'll see how it goes. Um, it is a what? Um, wheated bourbon. I think he was the first one to make wheated, wheated bourbon, but it is, what's the mash? It's about 51% maize mash. Mash, so yeah, so, but he's it's still a wheated bourbon, so I don't know if I've had a lot of wheated, wheated bourbons mm. before, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna crack into it. It's got a twist top. Um, I think it's, this is probably all we can get, and I've never seen a Wellers in New Zealand anymore, uh, anywhere except for this one. Um, so I don't know if you can get it very often. I'm can't, not 100% sure what I paid for it. I think it was about 60 bucks, not 16 years old. Yeah, for 45%, which isn't too bad. Yeah. Um, and but it comes from which distillery? Buffalo. Buffalo Trace. Yeah. So we're looking forward to it. So let's get. And we will do we will do a, a Buffalo Trace just on their normal bourbon at some stage as well. So uh, let's hook into it. It's only a screw cap, uh, not a cork. Cork, but that's all good. It's going. I think it's going to be good anyway. I think. Yeah, let's give it a go. I think I've seen so many good reviews about it. I'm not. I'm not going. Do you want to pour that, hun? I'll let you pour it and see how it goes. As you can see, we're wearing active wear again today. We're Eddie, Eddie Guess today. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? Oh, I thought you wanted me to pull mine. I'll pull both of ours. Mm. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Cheers. Mm. Smells like bourbon. She's got. Oh, not as. No. Delicate. She's a delicate. Yeah, it's too. not as strong. Hints of caramel and honey. She's not a strong, like strong, you know, how you, if you drink Jim Beam or if you have anything like that, Jim Beam's really... Oh, it's a lot smoother than that though. Yeah, well, Jim Beam's really strong on the bourbon smell. And I suppose, I suppose there's a, a tasting note we're supposed to know about for... Nice. A little bit caramelly. A little bit spicy. Not. I can see a bit of spice and stuff. It's not too bad though. Well, that's spice. nice. That'll change the flavour dramatically. I, I think you should have a few mm. little drinks of um, before you get into the ice, baby KK. I know you. I know you love the ice in your drink, but I think you need to have a bit of a few little tasting, tastings of it straight. I had a like couple. The, did you? Yeah. Heavy. 
Excuse me. Oh, so you're going to do the ice already? Okay. Oh, but oh, you should. Yeah, but the flavour. Like, I know it's nice. It's but it's not harsh when it goes down. You know, if you drink like, not and I'm going on Jim Beam. Jim Beam's pretty like just the white label. Not going on anything else. The white label's pretty harsh when it goes down, but this like it's quite yeah, smooth. This isn't harsh at all. It's quite smooth. Yeah. It's got it's got that bourbon. Interesting. I'm still quite partial. I'm quite. It's quite similar though, even with ice, which is unusual because a lot of the things we taste change just dramatically once it cools down. Yeah. I'm still quite. I'm quite happy with it. Tastes nice. I'm, I'm not. I'm not picking up what sort of flavours were they after. It was hints of caramel and honey. Oh, I suppose, yeah, I suppose, it. I suppose. No, try no, that as no. well though, just as a Yeah, I will, I will. I'll put some ice in mine in a minute. Um, I suppose there's a little bit of honey there, I suppose. Actually, like I said, change, try them together. Like that one there, this one, and go back to that one there. It's actually mm. quite interesting. It doesn't change it dramatically with the ice. It's not that much. Oh, difference. no, it doesn't actually. Yeah, unusual way. Because usually, yeah. I wonder if it's because of the wheat. Mm. The wheated bourbon. I wonder if it's because, because that, that doesn't taste, it just cools it down. Yeah, it doesn't it, actually change like the taste. Makes it, it makes it cold. It, it does. Because right. usually when you mix bourbon with ice. Yes, we're looking at the dog because he's right, moving. Okay. And now it's going to sleep again. He's moving around down there. But no, it's quite. Yes, it, it just it just makes it colder. It doesn't taste the change. It doesn't change the, the taste. taste. All right, I'm gonna add a bit of ice to mine, and we're, it's gonna be interesting with the mixer we've got today. It's gonna be a, mm. well, it's a mixer we always have a lot of the time. Smoky ginger ale. It's not gonna yeah. It's not gonna change. It's not gonna. I don't know if we. Let that sit for a little But yeah, um, Buffalo Trace, we need to get a few more of the drinks. Yep. Here in Kentucky, it looks like as well. Born right. in Kentucky. Yeah. This particular drink itself. Or, um, but well 45%. Oh, yeah. Yep. Loving that. Just loving that 45%. Nice. 90 proof to uh, your, um, anyone from America watching the course. And I, we do want to, we're going to get into a few bottled and bond drinks. Uh, we'll talk about that some other stage because bottled and bond, that's, if you're buying bottled and bond in New Zealand, at least you, you need the percentage. So we'll talk about that some other time, but, but at least if you're buying this in New Zealand, it's 45%. They're not stuffing around with it. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, no, nah, that just, no, nah, that bit of ice in it just doesn't... Doesn't change the flavour, it just cools it down. Cools it down. But it's nice, just... it's nice like that though. And oh, fuck, you, you could drink this all night. Correct. You could drink it all night, nearly. Pretty good. Oh, you could have sips of that all night with on ice. You'd probably nearly kill it. You'd be pretty drunk, I think, but you could kill it. Yeah. Very easy to drink is the point. Yeah, I think you drink. could. A bit, of a bit of a mess after it, but I wonder how you feel in the morning after drinking it. Oh, it's pretty, probably got no like residuals that yeah, would make you feel Yeah, like some yucky. alcohol yeah. do. What's it? Oh. And because you're not drinking mixes as well, probably I'm, you could probably be alright on it. I'm really impressed with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving that. I might, I might just have to have another couple of sips. I might have to fill up my glass with a bit of ice in it. Because that is pretty nice. I have seen reviews online about this, 
and it is very easy. Oops. It is very easy to drink, I'm telling you. Even without the ice, but ice just makes it, oh. Very nice. Is it, I don't know if it's a strong burden taste. No, I wouldn't say it's strong. So I don't know how the smoky ginger ale is going to go with it. So I hope the smoky doesn't overpower it. Apologies for the dog noise. It's getting louder and louder. I oh, think, he's, I feel. he's snoring back there. He's having a little sleep. Hopefully uh, the microphone will cut some of it out. He's sleeping, so you can't do much about that. Do we need new glasses for the... Mixer. Yeah. Yep, I think we need some new glasses, so... We'll put these to the side and we'll grab a couple of new glasses and we'll try that. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's have it with a bit of a mixer. We've got a little bit of ice. Um, we're going to have it with... I think this is the probably the best... Um, mixer? Mixer for it. Smoky ginger ale, but it's not... It's not a strong bourbon. We've talked about this before not being, don't know if it's the best to have Feelia. as a mixer. With not, if you're a strong bourbon, I reckon it's okay, but well, we'll give it a go. Interesting. We'll, we'll see what it's like. So. You probably don't need so much of the mixer because yeah. it's such a nice flavoured bourbon. And like I said, Fed Tree's my um, go-to mixer. I love it. I've seen that I was just watching on LinkedIn the other day. They've come out some night new, a new rank, or oh, like a new like um, range of different flavors, and they look awesome. Can't wait. To show, hopefully, they make it here to New Zealand. It'd be so if they do, it'd be cool. But they look bloody awesome. You're right, do you want a swizzle stick? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm not You're right, no swizzle stick for yeah, you? No, but thank you. Alright. That ice, I'll just let mine cool down a bit more. I don't think the smoky flavour adds to it. Doesn't, it doesn't add. detract from it though, but it's like. Right. Yeah. It's such a nice flavour anyway. It doesn't well, actually, self. yeah. I don't think you need this smoky. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not. Yeah, so I... It's like it's nice to drink, but I wouldn't add that. I no. just have the standard ginger ale, fever tree ginger ale. Yeah, I don't know. I think, oh, yeah, but even then, I don't. Because, like. doesn't need it. I don't think it even needs that. I think you'd just drink it straight. Yeah, well, the straight with the lime is beautiful. No, I think she got the wrong video <laughs> there. Uh, it's not lime, it's straight by itself, yep. I think, is fine. Lime is, uh, we've been doing too many um, mum videos, and that's the problem. We had a bit of lime. You can cut that out, so it's all good. No, I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd, but I don't think you really need to have a mixer because it's really nice on its own, but with ice, it's just like a cooler version of it doesn't change the flavor which is you know it's quite surprising because a lot of the drinks that we usually um, taste change dramatically so that's quite good yeah I think um, and don't forget a lot of bourbon drinkers and, and like us like I've said before a lot of bourbon drinkers they will drink their bourbon with um, coca-cola or coke Coke. Oh, cola. never. Oh, no, do I wouldn't that either. To this, I either. Wouldn't. It's too, too but lovely some a flavor. Them, some of them do, but. Um, it's a waste. Yeah, but they do, though. And they might buy this and they still drink it with um, cola, but that's up to them and that's the way they want to drink it. I still think it's, um, it's probably better drinking straight. And like we said, the ice just cools it, cools it down and still keeps the same flavor. Mm. Not saying this is not nice. Just yeah. saying that you don't actually yeah. need a mixer with it. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think the smoky ginger ale even doesn't really change it. 
It doesn't add to the flavor. It doesn't add to it, mm. so. Um, but I'm still going to drink it. But we still have our on ice versions here as well. Yep, so. From earlier. What's your rating, hun? What's your oh, rating? Jeez, I'd give it quite a high rating actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably giving it a four. I'm going probably higher than you. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.5 because. Um, it's yeah, right up there. It's really nice and I've been really happy like tasting it today. Yeah, 4.5 for me I think. Yeah, I'm And that's good. that's at the that's getting to the top of like all the drinks we've had over the last few weeks, so yeah. Because um, it's easy to drink, it's so good. Yeah. I must say I'm a bourbon more than a whiskey anyway. Oh, so yeah. but you know you're gonna to have to have some whiskey soon. I know. You, you so just, you just I can't. should actually <laughs> bring it up to just like just over a four, just mm. to sort of emphasise the fact that I do actually appreciate this drink more than I probably will in some others that we're going to look at later. Yeah. So yep. But I'd say um, we've done enough talking stuff um, and waffling on so i say that would be about it for this video yep um so if you do like the video give us a thumbs up you know it's always nice and if you're new to us please subscribe to our channel and i'll say we'll see you later later